Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. Kumusta po ang ating Thursday? So, bago po tayo mag-umpisa sa dating gawi, gawin dating devotion, tayo po ay manalangin. O makapangyarihang Diyos na aming sinasamba, Ikaw ang Diyos magpakailanman. Dinudulog po namin ang aming gawain ito para sa iyong kaluwalhatian. Mangusap ka po sa bawat isa sa amin. Ang iyong pangalan lamang ang maitataas ngayong umaga. Ito ang aming panalangin sa makapangyarihang pangalan ni Yesu Kristo. Amen. Hello po sa ating lahat muli. So, nasubukan niyo nga bang manalangin na feeling frustrated Bakit? Kasi ang tagal namang masagot ng ating panalangin. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa siyang sagot. Minsan, nagdadoubt na tayo kung mayroon ba talaga ang Diyos. Kaya, sasagutin ba talaga ang Diyos ng aking panalangin? Sabi nila, may tatlong um, paraan kung paano daw, kung paano sumagot si Lord sa panalangin. First is yes, because this is really for us. Second is no, because the Lord has a better plan for us. And third is wait, because the Lord is forming our character. O may binabago si Lord sa atin buhay. Well, Kung alin man sa mga tatlo, but one thing I'm sure of is the God answers our prayers. How does our prayers in faith work? So, basahin natin sa James 5.16. Sabi dito, Therefore, confess your sins to each other, and pray for each other so that you may heal the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective kung babasahin natin itong James chapter 5 mag, uh, from read back from verse 13 sabi dito is any one of you in trouble He should pray. If he is happy, he will sing songs of praise. Is anyone sick? He should call the elders of the church to pray over him. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick people or the person well. So, let's go to verse 17. Sabi dito, Elijah was a man like us. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. So, maalala ko nung last Thursday devotion natin was about how should we pray. So, Jesus taught us how should we pray. So, today naman is we will pray in faith. Or we will pray, we will pray with faith. So, alam niyo ba mga kapatid that prayer Ang panalangin po ay pinaka-importante part ng ating buhay. Kasi ito ay nagbibigay ng uh, it will uh, this is very essential kasi ito ay it help us o nagbibigay ng kumbaga ito ay nagse-serve as bond between us and the Lord. And our bond gets stronger and stronger if we pray. So, 
if we get closer and closer to God and because we prayed we can confess to God everything that we think at kaya nating i-confess ang mga bagay na naiisip natin o kaya mga bagay na kaya nating sabihin kung anong yung mga na nararamdaman natin kaya nating sabihin i-confess kung anong yung mga gusto natin yung mga pangarap natin at kung ano ang gusto ng Panginoon sa ating buhay na mangyari at pwede tayong humingi sa Panginoon sabi nga ask Him for anything whether small or big at kanya ibibigay sa verse 16 napansin ko the prayer sabi dito, the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Ano ba tong righteous man na to? I was questioning righteous man. Eh, nobody is righteous. Naalala ko yung si Abraham sa aming um, uh, Genesis study every Sunday 3 o'clock p.m. na um, Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Uh, yung naniwala lang si Abraham sa Panginoon. At it was credited to him as righteousness. So when we pray, we pray with faith that God will answer our prayer. When we believe God, our faith in Him will make our prayer powerful and effective just believe the Lord our God I want to read to you an, motiv an inspirational story or a motivational story it says like this the rain failed again that year it was the third year of famine the crops had disappeared Trees lost their leaves. The riverbed was dry. The land was brown and dusty. Desperate for help, the people decided to pray together. Many arrived at the church that night to pray for the needed rain. Among them was a little girl. Next to her was an umbrella, open and ready for use. It was a colorful and large umbrella, much bigger than her. Some of the people noticed it and began asking her, Why did you bring an umbrella? Can't you see there's no rain? Only a fool will bring an umbrella on such a clear night. The girl answered, Yes, indeed. I came here to pray too. That's why I brought this umbrella. The pastor who heard the conversation smiled. He realized how much faith that little girl possessed. No one else among the crowd brought an umbrella except for the little girl. All came to pray for the rain, but only the little girl had come expecting an answer. Brothers and sisters, let us pray with expectation that God answers our prayer. So let us pray. O oh Lord, our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Forgive us, O oh God, for our iniquities. May our vindication come from you. Thank you for saving us, keeping us safe, healing us, providing our needs thank you my god for your promises that keeps us 
that keep us strong. Give ear to our prayers. Keep us the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Your hand, O Lord, save us from calamities and disasters. O God, may you grant all our requests. May your kingdom come. May your will be done this day and throughout, forever and ever. Amen.